The Lord, I'm truly grateful to be here. My name is Pastor Newton Pelt from Brandywine, Maryland. I'm the first cousin to Jermaine Pelt. I'm sitting here today and hearing all these wonderful things that's been said about him. And I pretty much knew that already. <laughs> because that's just who he is. And I was give regard to all the politicians, the pastors, this church. Appreciate your love, your kindness, showing towards the family here, the Pelt family. We're just so grateful for everything that we have been a part of, you allowed us to be a part of, because of my cousin and his love that he had for what he was doing in his life. I was thinking about when the young man was talking about <clears throat> Pell. If you ever been in one of our family reunions, you don't hear nobody's first name. It's always Pell. <laughs> But the thing, you knew the difference in the pelt by the octave of how high it was or how low it was, you knew who you was dealing with. And so everybody just knew where they got in. And so we appreciated that and appreciate what I'm feeling right now because I'm encouraged today. I'm overwhelmed with the love that I feel and the joy that has been displayed here today and giving us hope. Appreciate the pastor and giving those good words and talking about this great man named Jesus. For Jesus said I would be a friend that would stick closer than a brother. He said I would never leave you nor will I forsake you. He said I'll be with you even until the end of the world. And I believe he's shown himself to be faithful. Because of Jermaine Pelt here today being a display of the love that God has bestowed upon us. He's been a great example of the word of God that has lived through him. That's what I tell a lot of people. The word of God is not just to be read, but it's to be lived. There's too many people that are just reading the word of God and not being a participant of what the Word of God has instructed us to do. But why don't we take this time of, of life, a moment of time that God has given us to hear these wonderful things, and let's not just be one that just repeat the things that we hear and heard, but let us live the things that we've seen Jesus live before us and through this young man here today, who was an example of love, joy, peace, and happiness, patience, and long-suffering, and kindness. For myself, I know dearly, Jermaine would always tell anybody that was going through anything, because he was my younger cousin, but Jermaine could fit in any kind of room. And you would know that he was the younger cousin, because he could sit around with the older ones and, and the elder ones, and, and he knew how to handle himself. But he would always tell you, no matter what you was going through in life, what was taking place in life, he would always say, cuz, it's going to be all right. And I want to tell the family here today, family and friends, it's going to be all right. Because today we're not, we're not uh, uh, in despair today. We're not going uh, uh, through this today as someone that didn't have any hope. We got hope today. We got hope beyond the grave. 